Well, it's another new track, and I've got to say the feedback so far has been really, really positive. Now, one thing everybody's told me is, watch out, this track is really, really slippy. So, let's go and see what it's all about. a lovely long corner, knees down, into the curve, get on the full hard, a lot of traction control kicking in, hard on the brakes into what's going to be a tricky corner, nice and banked, but it encourages us to go in early, slow on the exit, bike slides a lot onto here, third gear, up to fourth gear, the bike's moving. Fifth gear. Sixth gear, 160 miles an hour. 170. All again on the brakes. All the way down to second gear. Again, the bike moves a lot more than normal. Oh, so tricky this corner. This is the one, this is where they've all been crashing at the end of the straight. It leads into this really long corner. Place it in. All the way, it goes on forever. Already, you can see the black lines from the MotoGP riders spinning it up. Oh, a little bit wide. Got that slightly wrong. Here we go, back in. We're back online. Hold it tight around this one. We're approaching the Assen section. That's what we've renamed it. It's a nice, flowing, curve-to-curve -curve section. What a beautiful corner. Up over here is where we've seen Marquez use the curves. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Hey, up. Oh. It moved a bit then. Mark Marquez wouldn't have shut off, would he? I did. Hard out of here. Third gear. All the way into the last corner. Into the penultimate corner, I should say. This is where I expect to see all the overtaking. On the last lap, there's definitely a place where you can dive underneath people. Oh, you've got to be slow this first part. It's a lot slower than it looks. Into third gear, over the curves, and run it out onto the curves. And that is a lot. Well, I missed the pit lane entrance. I don't know if you saw that. That's quite embarrassing. That is definitely a rookie mistake. I mean, as for the track, I knew it was going to be slippy. The only places I really felt it was on the brakes. The back end of the bike was really lively and it moved around a lot. One thing that just stands out, I'm not surprised Mark Marquez is so quick round here because you're on the side of the tyre and it's slippy. And as we know and as we've seen so far this year, he loves the bike moving, so hence he's the second faster than everybody. Yeah.